And remember, the Seraphim Destroyer is the only one that can be submerged. There is water on this map. And there is an enemy Seraphim player. You really think you can submerge the Destroyer in this? <laughs> put that if sentence on my curve stone. I'm, I'm not even sure you can build a... Give me a sec. You can build a naval you factory. You can build a naval factory in that, so you can build destroyers there. You, you had that to check that for yourself uh, as well not right now, right? Yes. God, this is hilarious. Pull the nukes up. I mean, you get like half the map with that. It's a 10 by 10, okay. Yeah. You get maybe half the map uh, with that. I could build Salem's. You could, but that's probably not something you should do. Just... Why not? Salem's are fun. Yeah, it just seems a bit stupid, I don't know. Don't tell me what to do. Stupid is my thing. Good for you, I guess. I'm mass neutral! Hooray! Also, those trees actually have mass, unlike some other trees and some other maps. I think those trees always have mass, it's just... Um, it's just that... It's just that the reclaim automation thing doesn't take that into account because the primary resource is energy and it just takes that into account, I think. Maybe, that's my theory at least. That's your theory. Okay. A game theory. <laughs> I mean, someone's got to do it, right? Since uh, that guy left uh, YouTube. Right. Yeah. There was. Uh, there was that whole thing. Ah. <laughs> uh, that mean, joke will never die. Yeah, that joke will never die. But yeah, I mean, good on him. That way he's got more time for his son, I guess. I've never watched any of his content, so I didn't even know the guy had a son. Uh, yeah. Also, there's a, there's a rock, there's a rock. Uh, by the way, remember to reclaim all the rocks. You got a bunch of them. Yeah, I know, I just don't have the power for them. I just watched, I'm just, I just saw a Magmarine walk into my com range. Also, it currently just feels weird, uh, considering the fact that a lot of the uh, YouTubers from Basically, the era when I got into YouTube, the big names from that time, are now just retiring. Yeah, it just already... kind of feels weird. I've already gone through that phase, more or less. And I yeah, mean, yeah, the first YouTuber I've watched uh, has already retired a while back. I know, I know, but still. Funnily enough, also the YouTuber that got me somewhat into the RTS genre. Brink, wasn't it? Uh, no. It actually wasn't. Brink got me into Subcom, but my interest for RTS already was a bit earlier from that, from Hosa. Uh, under attack. Some German smaller YouTuber. No longer YouTuber. He deleted his yes, channel. Yes, former YouTuber. Oh, hey, there's a... By the way, there's a calm down here. Oh, congratulations, you found the enemy. Good on you. Uh, I would rather say the enemy found me, but also... You found the enemy with your face. Also, you stole my max. I'm unhappy about that. Currently a bit busy. Commander under attack. Also... I might need a little help. Well, that's on you. 
Commander under attack. Why am I standing oh, still? Run by. run by from the north because I wasn't paying attention and didn't see that trip coming. Uh, Hope you got uh, the most of that. Commander under attack. Because I should have got something down. working on that. Oh yeah, that guy is definitely dead. Commander under oh shit, also run behind the north. And god, I hate open flanks. They're always so fucking annoying. Ah, there's an enemy commander that is currently upgrading. That's great. I'm not sure if uh, the enemy I'm facing is upgrading. But if so, that's gonna be... Commander under attack. Oh, hey, Nick. Took out an enemy. Neat. And I'm being pushed by a gun commander. Shit. Pit. Pit. Pit! And a run by at the same time. Commander under attack. Things are looking a bit problematic up here. Yeah, I'm currently not in a position to actually spam stuff. Because I kinda neglected my econ. So did I. Luckily I did not overflow anything, so I can just spend that currently on upgrading some nexus, but still I'm taking a lot of fire and just being walked down by the uh, enemy commander. And okay, you're dealing with the run by, I can set my spam to deal with the enemy commander then. Yeah, I'm dealing with the run by. Under attack. I'm down into the red, I might die. Shit. Well. Uh, might also just get out of range of that commander because I think I might start blocking it now. I'm going to live. For now. You need E for overcharge? Uh, the problem isn't the army, the problem is the gun combat I can't counter. Commander under At least couldn't attack. counter right now. I'll get another one down there. I think I'm dealing with T2PD or something. What's that? That's a factory. And that might be a UAF gun con. Which I only have range, not the other stuff. Oh shit, that was the run by that got in the back of my base. Uh... Right, you already have stuff running after that. Do you have a spare bomber or something? Uh, sort of. Though I kinda need them on my flank. Fair enough. Under attack. E, I need E. Yeah, I'm currently negative on E. Fuck, why am I negative on E? That's not good. Yeah, I'm facing a gun con. Under attack. Hmm. There is a certain amount of lag. Yeah, it makes it really hard to play right now. I don't like this turn based strategy. Yeah, I know, I'm more of an RTS guy myself. 
Commander under attack. To get a stealth. Oh shit, I'm down into the red. I need to keep running. I'm dead. Commander under attack. Alright, then that's the enemy commander. And well, I have Cyber Region, so I might be able to some damage into that. But I'm a lot lower than I had commanded it down at that. And uh, build build T1 to, PD with your yeah. NGs. Fair enough. Where the hell is uh, T1 PD? Keep your car moving. Oh shit, yeah. Oh shit. NG's dead. Yeah, no. And so am I. Ah. Uh, well. But this game is also literally unplayable. And since Fav does work well when slagging with units, uh, units just losing orders and shit like that. Yeah, no, I'm dead. But yeah, um, it seems that they ported uh, Fev to PowerPoint. No, they didn't, because oh, if they did, it would run a lot better. <laughs> I guess so. I guess at least I won't have to worry about the T2 that was coming my way up in the north. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I just noticed that they have uh, T2 lands, so they probably would have gotten T2. So I was still working on, but yeah, uh, it's three, yeah, it is British. I, s I seem to have refound the orange com. Well, you didn't uh, nick it. Yeah, nick it. Uh, but that also looks like a gun com. Yeah, it is a gun comm. It was already a gun comm when it was dealing with me. Yeah. And the thing is, I only had range. Nick, I think you can give up because this game is just gonna be a painful slideshow to the end and... With all due respect, I don't think you have what it takes to actually win this. To actually pull this one back. I mean, technically, Nick could just roll over the, uh, the enemy base from the backside or something. Maybe. I mean, fair, but look at the map control. They have the they have an uh, overwhelming eco advantage currently. Also, Nick, uh, you got a bunch of T1 uh, bombers that I built. Maybe uh, do something with those. A chance. Wait, did they my could... mouse go uh, to me accidentally upgrading Max 2 T3 because the game lagged and I accidentally clicked the T3 upgrade because the normal hotkey stopped working? Yeah. God damn it. Oh, and that's the push that is that uh, might take out the current position for Nick. So far, no T2 units uh, on the top making their show, though. Maybe the guy got uh, it go straight to 3. Though that push has just started uh, coming in, and to be fair, currently no if it's so yeah, you're alright. The stuff moving in doesn't look like Earthies, though they have started taking Maxis. 
Yeah, that's not looking too hot. Also, the jesters aren't doing a whole lot either, since there is a bunch of AA mixed in there. Oh yeah, some iron salts. Oh, but Nick has made the uh, step to T2 land. Yep, I already noticed that. He's currently going for place in the main base and Place also on the field. And also... Some T2 on that secondary base. Can you field that many factories, Nick? He's because... on run to Eco. He has, all, uh, he has what remains of all our bases, so he probably can currently. You know, now I kind of want to see flare spam out of that, but no, let's not meme this too hard. The game is already chucking as is. Yeah, but just imagine it. No. Imagine it, gun comes being drowned in flares. <laughs> flares would probably prove surprisingly effective against gun comes, uh, gun comes in mass because... Well, against UEF, the high alpha is completely pointless. And even then, the retargeting would probably just take too long. Oh, hey, there are T2 land units, though, from orange. There are plus in the south, yeah. I suspect that we may be looking at a straight T3, um, uh, at a T2 skip uh, for um, uh, Knusper first going straight to T3. No idea, we haven't scouted in a while, but yeah. Yeah, I know. That commander's looking mighty um, uh, tanky now, just due to all that veterans he had collected. Because I had to throw my initial army into that commander to not die. Oh yeah, that's that's a beefy con. You're right. And I'm pretty sure that com has, uh, doesn't even have nano. Doesn't have a backpack, so it probably doesn't. Right on the sound, but there are pillows, the button in that will be hard. Can Knusperfish just die, please? Rob He's holding up the whole game. Defenseless. He's not gonna die that easily. Well, his AA seems to have uh, gone for a short straw, so maybe that's Which gonna help. Which just brought me to the realization, have we seen any air out from them? Uh, some air scouts, and that was about it. Because I also don't see any entities currently on their way to stop those jesters. On the other hand, it's hard to see any entities coming in because, well, the game isn't moving. Game isn't moving, and we don't really have that much radar coverage. Okay, the guy is going for A now. And so is that energy there. But while that commander is building, that is actually a good chance for Nick to send in what. Wait, never mind, I was gonna say it's a good chance to send in units, but there are no units to send in. Also, there are strikers in the back and stuff. And Nick is currently yeah. just collecting his uh, nine factories, no, seven factories production for like some static defense, I guess. Yeah, but a fin uh, the stationary A finish and with the jesters are completely pointless because that will just tear through those jesters. Nick, where's your con going? Also, why is it not firing? I think... Wait, Nick has T2, so I don't think he has gun range because if I remember correctly, those, uh, those are both on the same slot, right? Yeah, those don't mix with Aeon. Are you he sure about this? Shield. Does he? Alright, there is T2 out. Doesn't look he... like it's actually upgrading currently. He has an Asylum moving in and an Obsidian as a tank, but he doesn't have com shields. Yeah, but the Asylum will be quite a uh, decent defense and the additional people from that T2 upgrade. It's gonna be pretty useful in conjunction with some overchargers. 
well, he has to get into range for overcharges first. And now that he's abandoned his side position, that's going to be a bit difficult. And that UAF ACU will probably just mop up uh, the units. Those are obsidians. Like those are? Alright, yeah, I, I forgot that those aren't just any T2 units. Yeah, I can sort of... Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that guy's also just dead. Yeah, that guy doesn't have a whole lot uh, against... He's gonna this. run out of additional veterancy very soon, so... Yeah, and the amount of fervors will just be untenable. Because he stands still for a second, he just takes a shit ton of damage. And counterproductively, the lag actually makes it harder to dodge because you can't see the shells arching in properly since it's, they are just stationary at times. Yeah, but there's more army, so he isn't well, dead no, yet. Well, no, my reinforcements came in. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. I feel ya. Maybe the guy also just learned how to use that lag properly and abuse it for, well, nefarious purposes. You mean he is the master of the laggy arts? Well, I mean, lag switches aren't the new thing, and... If you learn how to properly adapt to the lag on FAF, it's probably playable. Alright, and the guy wet it once again, so he's up to 16k HP on that fucking ACU. <laughs> Yeah, I think that uh, flank needs a bit of T2 uh, magic to properly deal with that. There is a third of a T2 upgrade done on my uh, main factory. And that is still underway, I guess just paused. Yeah, but currently with the units pushing in and stuff, it's just rather yeah, annoying. That's, gonna take... that's not really doable, or at least right now I get it. Ah, but Oblivion Crypt now coming in uh, from the, so uh, the south from Nick, that might work out. Let's hope that actually works out and doesn't get uh, counter pushed very quickly because Oblivions have this shitty uh, um, property of not being too great in terms of dealing with uh, being swarmed. Okay, fine. Yeah, but they should be doing well against T2 due to the high HP. I should not be translating that. Yeah, yeah, just some thought about the uh, connections. I mean, this is just painfully laggy. Turn based strategy for the win! <laughs> Maybe also another reason they didn't go for air. Also, there's an NG straight up claiming uh, the Max is north of your base. Yeah, I know, I think I found that out like 20 minutes ago. Or what feels like 20 minutes ago, probably more like 10 minutes ago. Uh, might have been 20 minutes. We had 15 minutes game time and... Oh yeah, yeah, it's 15 minutes game time, never mind, it was probably 20 minutes ago. They were trying to build a T2 Raider and it did nothing. Also, there's T2 PD. Yeah, there's T2 PD counter creep against Nick currently. Uh, I think that I... just has for everything you need to know about the uh, current development of this game. Yeah, I'm just seeing that this T2 PD isn't long for this world. There it goes. Luckily, and, and there are quite a few T2 Maxes currently going down. We got air scouts. We got air scouts! Knusperfish, just disconnect already! But, uh, that T2HQ is just sitting there doing nothing. Maybe he forgot about it, hopefully. 
because he hasn't even built a T2P gen. Oh no, he is building his second T2P there gen. There are T2 spam factories up in the north. Right, and there is T3 land. Oh yeah, there are T2 spam factories and... Oh, yeah, that's that's a bit of a problem. Okay, and there are issues not producing out of those T2 spam factories, so... The north will receive, uh, will be uh, preferred by T2 soon. You know, we could really need some T2 uh, air right about now, just for the uh, air snipes. Fair enough, they don't have proper air coverage. And the Cyprian uh, T2, uh, or the Cyprian HQ, uh, or Cyprian Cyp uh, Air Factory is still a thing. That's probably best uh, suited for some T2 air snipes. As the mercies are just no longer useful for that. At least obsidians still have somewhat of a chance against uh, against the first couple T3 units trickling in. in. If the yeah. guy goes straight for pulses, they don't. Right, because of the high alpha, fair enough. But uh, still, they still got their shield that can still tank a bunch. So. Let me just check unit database. Uh, I want to compare the possible and the. Where is it? Where's the obsidian? Here it is. And Knusperfish's <laughs> ACU is once again moving. Oh, he's going Titans. Hmm. Well, That's actually annoying because they are a bit. They are rather survivable. They are a lot faster, yeah. They are the fa one of the fastest units, so yeah. Like land units, I mean. So yeah, that's gonna be annoying. Right, also the unit database doesn't take into account the uh, food HP on the, the obsidian, so I don't know how many, how many HP that thing actually has. Hooray! Uh, are we currently a snake out of power, or is this radar just a bit shit? Or not present? Uh, it's probably just that he currently doesn't have the proper radar coverage. But this uh, looks like the um, collapse from or the uh, pressure from the south is more successful than the current pressure from the north. And uh, now looking at how things are currently, what I'm currently seeing, Nick's army might uh, just evaporate, and that was painfully uh, built up over several minutes. Yeah, fair enough. So, yeah, pulling back is a good idea. Also, north is currently being... On the to the north finished. Nice. It's currently AFK, but it did finish. Yeah, but... The T2 north, uh... Oopsie is already a great sound. I... Don't dare oh. to look. Well, it's not that bad. It's a bit annoying though, because they basically just flanked uh, everything and there are some PD in the base, but definitely not enough. Okay, T2HQ is now doing something and getting a bunch of assistance, so that's great. Also, and... Cosmo Fush might actually go down for real this time. Nope, he's expertly still dodging the throwers. Uh, he's taking a lot of fire from them still. Oh wow, yeah, that's... <laughs> Those were... That's just 10k HP gone. Yeah. And that's why you don't stand still near um, T1RT. That's T1RT. 
Fifty-fifty. Yeah. Also, I think that H uh, that is you should have actually kept on uh, the Vashmanzi at this point. Neat. Because 17k HP is, is an insane amount uh, of HP for an ACU, especially with also viability upgrades. Oh, come on, the guy might get away once again. Oh, okay. shit. Bit more E. Alright, you're already doing that. Okay, fine, that might be why you're, you don't have E and. Right, but Zopra's are... going up in the north now. That is actually pretty good. That is going to allow to defend. There is stuff happening near your ACU, Nick. I think it's M and L's. Or oh, Mongoose fire, something along those lines. Those arm missiles, yes, those arm um, missiles, they don't do enough damage for TMD, uh, for the missile. 1400 HP on that com. Come on! Just give up! Please! Oh, there are also Titans now coming in. Fuck! Oh, shit. And also, uh, she's now running into that as well. Yeah, the is uh, she's the big has been right added now. for a short while now. But Nusperfish gets away with like 500 HP. This Come is on. really annoying. All the while now, uh, Earthbeats and Titans are rampaging through the next uh, northern base. Um. And Titans are rampaging through the middle base. I think yeah. Northern base is currently defended due to those Zopras. Uh, yeah, but the em emphasis being on currently. Yeah. Here we have Obsidians moving north. Nice. Alright, the power issue should be stabilizing now, probably. Yep, it is. Yeah, there we go. There's some radar coverage. But yeah, Blazes versus, versus Titans isn't a fair fight. And this I mean, connection... Those are obsidian spots, still not that uh, off fight. Uh, I'm looking at Blazes right now, which are spearheading the chase on oh, the yeah, Titans. Be right, yeah, because Blazes are fast, though, that's it. Yeah. Blazes are fast and uh, Obsidians are slow as fuck because heavy tank and all that. Yeah. Uh, those places don't do a whole lot of damage, do they? I think they do the same amount of damage as an obsidian, so yes, they actually do. Oh. Well, they don't have the same alpha, but they're, uh, they're higher firing, that's the same DPS. Yeah, okay, fine. They just aren't that great against... Yeah, the T3 upgrade might be... Uh, rather necessary. I mean, uh, to be fair, if the guy sticks with Titans, um, uh, Harvey's will just completely wreck them, because... Harvey's beat Titans to account for, uh, for Aeon not having... Uh, a heavy assault bot. Uh, Nick, you might want some TMD. Uh, Nick has already been working on TMD, I think. Yeah, just, okay. Yeah. Still just pointing that out because I currently don't see any TMD there. It might have gotten sh shut down again. Right, um, now it's coming in the, in the north. This is just such a cluster But fight. they aren't without proper escorts, so those should be easily just rushed down. 
Let me react to them. Units. And uh, there's the big catch because map awareness. And Nick is dead. Oh. Due to MMLs. Oh, this game was just painful. Yeah, flapjacks. Uh, no, spearheads. So T3 MMLs. Also, there were a few. There was one Percival. Fair enough, the Corsis would have just completely crushed uh, at that point. Yeah, I don't know what I even did this game. This was just. Don't worry, don't die. 